By the end of this video, I will help you connect an attend local instance with your Microsoft Outlook. Okay, let's open a brand new workflow just like this in our local instance. If you have not done already, you can go to this plus icon and create a new workflow. So let's rename this workflow and call it NADN Outlook Integration. Okay, so once we do that, let's add our first step. In here, we can select, let's do trigger manually. Okay, and then let's add for Outlook. Microsoft Outlook and now there are several actions we can choose but uh, for today we are going to look at how to send email using an attend instance and Microsoft Outlook integration okay so let's go and choose for send a message this will give you this window but I will show you one more thing so now when whenever we do the manual trigger it should go to the send message block or the node and then in here we need to configure our Microsoft credentials we need to create a credential for Microsoft Outlook to work with our NADN instance. And how do we do that? We need to have Microsoft Azure account. So just go ahead and create your Azure cloud account. It's free. After you create your account, enter your payment info. It will not charge by default, but you need to provide your payment info to activate your cloud service. And once you are here, now we can continue. Go to the services and search for app registration. We are going to create an API app that will connect Microsoft of service and we can use that from our anytime instance and then click on new registration click here and let me call it giving back ai demo for the options here choose accounts in any organizational directory multi-tenant and personal microsoft account select this and for redirect uri choose wave and this one should come from your anytime instance and if you notice here click on new credential it will give you this oauth redirect url right just copy that and go to your portal paste here and let's click on register great so it created the app for us. Now the next step is go to certificates and secret. In here we need to create our client ID and secret for the app. Click on new client secret. Now let's say for description we can say an it and instance local. And now the expiration date I'm gonna put three months. Now click on add. So if you see here it created the new client secret. This is the client secret value. So we need to copy the client secret value go to your anytime instance and paste in this secret paste here okay great but what is the client id so for client id we need to go to our overview find the app and here you can see client id this is the client id just copy that and paste here great so i think that should do it we added our redirect uri now click on connect my account it will give you a pop-up window you see here our app name demo needs your permission to sign you maintain blah 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 everything is good just click on accept so this window will close automatically in five seconds close that looks good right so let's do a quick demo close that since we are trying to send a message using this outlook service now click on send operation and let me try my gmail account okay plus tested now at the gmail.com i'm just adding an alias to differentiate the message okay test from anit and local and then message i'm gonna say hello this the test message and for the add field if we want to send HTML message, we can change that from by going here. You can choose a message type and HTML you can choose. And in here, you can enter the HTML message. But for now, it's a text type. So I'm just going to leave the text type of message. Now let's go back and save it. Now execute the flow. There we go. So it says send message successfully. Now let's go to our Gmail and see if we if we received our message. Hmm, there we go. This is looking good. Right? Test from Anit and Local. This is a test message. Have a nice day. And we added our signature. Alright, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you guys next time. And just in case if you are interested, we have AI Engineer Bootcamp course. Make sure to check that out.